Tonight, a report on how an influential congressman enjoyed an all-expense-paid luxury trip despite new rules designed to keep lawmakers from doing exactly that. Last year, Congress passed the Honest Leadership and Open Government Act, an ambitious attempt at ethics reform aimed at stopping abuses of lobbyists paying for congressional members' travel. Did it work? Chief Investigative Correspondent Brian Ross caught up with a congressman while Brian was on the money trail. Before the new ethics law, this fabulous resort on Hawaii's Big Island, with its beautiful beaches and championship golf course, was a favorite place for aviation industry lobbyists to bring members of Congress for a long and free winter weekend. But at this year's American Airport Executives Conference, many of the usual Washington suspects were missing, including Republican Hell Rogers of Kentucky, who sent his regrets in song. You don't buy me lunches. <laughs> you don't throw me fundraisers anymore. But where there's a will, there's a way, or at least a loophole, as the man in the bathing suit found. He is Republican Congressman Dan Lundgren of California, a member of a key subcommittee that deals with airport issues. Lundgren and his wife flew here first class because of a bad hip, he says, and had four days in Hawaii without spending a dime of his own money. Back in Washington, Lundgren, now sporting a full beard, defended the trip. Organizations have their conventions usually at nice places, and I'll admit, I like to go to that particular one. Lundgren spent about a half hour talking with the group, and much of the rest of the time he could be seen around the pool, where he says he carried out important discussions. I don't understand why you have such a big deal about pools. I'm a California kid. I grew up around pools. We do a lot of business around pools. And the way Lundgren got someone else to pay for it was simple. The airport executives and lobbyists didn't pay for his travel directly but instead arranged to hold a thousand dollar ahead fundraiser at the Hawaii Hotel. Then all of Lundgren's travel costs, some five thousand dollars, could be legally charged to his campaign. It's a shell game. It, it, uh, it is still lobbyist money influencing lawmakers. Watchdog groups now say they expect other members of Congress will begin to use the same newly discovered loophole. If they had their meeting in Los Angeles, or Pittsburgh. I would have gone to their meeting in Los Angeles. Pittsburgh in January, you would have been there? I probably wouldn't have been in Pittsburgh in January. Do I look uh, like I would go to Pittsburgh in January? But Lundgren says if asked, he would be glad to be poolside at the same conference in Hawaii next winter. Republican Lundgren wasn't the only one out in Hawaii. Senate Democrat Daniel Inouye of Hawaii also showed up there for a quick talk and his own personal fundraising event with the lobbyists and executives. And then he, too, using the low poll, charged his personal travel costs to his campaign fund. 